when my Sherman broke, I fixed my 16X and then rode that for months alone. My Sherman just sat for months, just my 16X. And during that time, I thought that I preferred the silence. You know how the Sherman is super loud? Like, you know, everyone knows that sound. It's like a swarm of bees. It just sounds like you're flying or something. That Sherman, you know, it's a funny thing because you know, I've gone from my Sherman to my 16X, back to my Sherman. What's up, everyone? We're back at this place. I bet you some of you to remember this. Maybe not. Let me know if you do, actually. And the, look, the sun is right there. I'm gonna try and put my head so it blocks out the sun, so it doesn't mess with the, the glare and all that. Um, yeah, let's talk about the shirt. Oh yeah, the Sherman's over there, by the way. Yeah, let me do something real quick. This is, this will be interesting. Ready? Okay. The Sherman is just there. Oh yeah, it's behind that chair. Can you see? Can you see the wheel? Right there, I can see it now. And it's plugged in just there. See that PowerPoint? Just charging it. I'm really far away from where I, like where I left to go on this ride. I'm like 30 miles away. Oh look, a magpie. And what was I going to talk about? Oh yeah, like I'm thinking of getting, you know, I'm thinking of getting an EUC, but I can't afford it now because I'm not making money on Uber Eats. I mean, I'm making some money, but it's not enough. Like at this rate, it would take me years and years to save up for an EUC. If at all, like I can barely make enough to eat. Do you know what I mean? Before, when I started this guys, I saved up in three weeks I bought that red scooter which was 1800 bucks that's how good money I was making and then it just suddenly changed and now it's just it's shit every week I make like 120 bucks which is like just enough to eat and then I can't save anything so it would like it would take me forever I would never buy an EUC at this rate but if I could it would be the Either the Sherman Max or the S20. And I don't know about the S20 to be honest, because of the, you know, the suspension is cool, but is it gonna become a problem? So I'd rather wait and just see what, you know, how people go with it before I jump on, on board, you know, the new technology, you know, it's a new kind of a test in a way, like, I don't know, it's probably going to be, you know, as well, it's a higher voltage too. That's another thing to look out for, potentially. I don't think it would be a problem though, to be honest. My gut tells me that it, that it will be a good wheel. And that high voltage, I think it's 126 volts. I think that'll be fine too. I trust the King Song engineers, you know, all they're doing is upping the voltage a bit. It's probably going to be a good thing actually. It'll probably be better. I mean, of course it'll be better, right? But knowing King Song, you know how they're really, um, they like, they're conservative. They want big safety margins. They don't want to put out products that will put you in danger. And I reckon they're upping that voltage to hit that speed, like they want to go faster. It goes 45 miles an hour. And I bet you that wheel can go like 55 miles an hour. But they've just, they're really conservative. You know how I told you with the King Song 16X, I own that wheel. That was my first wheel actually, I still got it. The 16X, it goes 50 kilometers, like 31 miles an hour, top speed. But it gets there so easily that it's obvious that it can go much faster. Like it could easily do 45 as well. I bet you it can. Maybe with not much safety margin, but it could, let's say 40. I don't know about 45 actually, but 40, definitely. 
with just the way it accelerates to 31 miles per hour, it does it just instantly. And it can do it up steep hills and everything. So of course, if you're on a flat, it could do like 40 miles an hour. There's no reason why not. It's got enough power. Probably even 45. So the S20 is gonna be a killer wheel because King Song is saying it can do 45, right? So it could do 45 all day long. Even with the Sherman, to be honest, I'm not super confident about doing 45. That's 72 kilometers per hour all day long because it beeps at around 42, 43 miles per hour. It beeps around 68 kilometers per hour. When I'm on the road, actually, sometimes it'll get to like 70 before it beeps and then it'll beep like straight after 70, you know, before it even gets to 71. On the sand, it beeps at like 64, because there's more resistance there. So, yeah, my thinking is like, you know, when I hear those beeps, I'm like, you know, I don't feel comfortable just cruising with the beeps constantly. Maybe it's fine, I don't know, you guys give me your thoughts on that, but I would love to be able to just cruise at 70, you know, 70 Ks, 45 miles. Um, just the other, just today even, I was doing it for like a fair while, I was going 75, just under, probably 73, and it was beeping, and I held that speed for like a good few minutes, like three minutes, and it's just the best feeling, like, oh, it's just, it's awesome, it's just such, so fun, so fun, guys, the sound and everything is all part of it, it's like, it just sounds like you're flying or something. That Sherman, you know, it's a funny thing because, you know, I've gone from my Sherman to my 16X, back to my Sherman, and it's been going on like that. Cause you know, I'll, one will break, I'll fix the other one, that'll break, then I'll fix the other one. And currently I'm on my Sherman. But when I went to my 16X, when my Sherman broke, I fixed my 16X and then rode that for months alone, right? Many of you will remember that. My Sherman just sat for months. It just I didn't use it for months, just my 16X. And during that time, I thought that I preferred the silence. You know how the Sherman is super loud? Like, you know, everyone knows that sound. It's like a swarm of bees, literally. And the 16X is like silence. It makes, it doesn't make a sound. It's a complete contrast. And when I went to my 16X, I was like, dude, I appreciate this silence. I was like, this is cool. You know, I was like, I'm, so, I'm tired of that knobby sound, you know, that knobby tire. I felt like, dude, I, I, you know, like I didn't realize, like I never, I never said to myself, I'm tired of that sound. That's the thing. I never, you know, when I was riding the Sherman, I never said I'm sick of that sound. But then when I rode the 16X, I thought that unknowingly I was tired of the sound you know I was like dude that's a relief you know I'm, I'm back to this silence this is awesome and it is awesome but now that I'm back to the Sherman no 16x the 16x has got a flat tire I'm waiting for that tube by the way it'll be here soon now that I'm back on the Sherman I love that sound I love it it's just like I said when you're going especially when you're going super fast you know above like 40 you know around 40 45 miles an hour it just sounds so high pitched, it's like, it feels like you're flying, like, it becomes part of the immersion, that sound. And these things feel like you're flying anyway, you know, like, when you're going fast, but... Let's turn around here. See, it's just over there. By the way. Yeah, it's just, I love that sound. I don't know, I like both, I guess. I, it'll be good once I've got both wheels running, which will be soon, hopefully, like a week, two weeks. I also ordered, so I'm going to get the tube, the 16X tube, the, a new tire as well, just because, you know, if I'm going to take it apart, I might as well slap a new tire on there. And I'll keep the the old one anyway, because it's still got a lot of tread. But what I, the other thing I got was, um, pedal hangers 
new pedal hangers for my Sherman that is going to raise the, the pedals. I cannot wait to do that too, guys. Because... Oh, and... I got new pedals for my 16X. I'm going to get, like, spike pedals. But, yeah, the, the new pedal hangers is so important. Like... This thing just scrapes so easily now because I'm getting better at riding as well. Like a year ago, I probably wouldn't have complained so much, but now it's hard not to scrape these pedals. They're just super duper low. It's like, it almost feels like training wheels. Like you turn a little bit and it's already scraping, you know, it's like preventing you from tipping over or something. It sucks. And I cannot wait to get high up. When I look at the S20 as well, those pedals look so high up. I'm like super jealous when I see that wheel. I just like, I look at my Sherman and think, dude, you know, like face palm. But, you know, I, I can't be hard, you know, aside from those pedals, it's like perfect. So you can't be too hard on, on the Sherman, but it's just getting to be too much like it's just so limiting i literally think i can lean two times as much as what it's allowing me to literally twice i, I don't know like i need to test it you know i need higher pedals so just to see how much i can lean over before it slips you know like at some point it'll slip you lose grip but yeah guys i need to do that Anyway, let's end this vlog now. It's been, what, 20... Oh, 12 minutes. Perfect. Perfect. Um, I don't know. I kind of rambled. I think I might have missed something. Like, when I started this video, I, was, I had something in mind and I forgot. And I just went on and talked about the Sherman and stuff. Um, oh, yeah, the other thing. Man, I was watching this video on... EV's channel, you know EV's like double EV, double ES and they've got a video on the S20 and they're going up these super steep hills like with dirt on them, like a dirt hill and they're going up like, I don't it's like 45 degrees or something and they're going up so hard that it's doing a burnout like the wheel is, you know what I mean and it's sending dust back and the wheel is making this sound, it's like this high pitch whoa it's just crazy when i heard that i was like dude i think that, that was the s20 that was doing that and it might be because of that high voltage i don't know mm, that is so delicious mm. but it sounds sick when i saw that video i was inspired i was like dude like those machines are just so freaking awesome and the speed at which they're going up these hills, like 50 degrees, right? And just like smashing up them, you know, from a standstill. Crazy. Like even walking up these hills would be hard. All right, let, let's end it here, guys. We'll see you soon. And guys, if you didn't quit the video, you got some bonus footage here. I filmed this just the other day, and it's a pretty sad sight. This butterfly is like stuck on that green mesh. I mean, this it can all it has to do is go down like one foot, and it could just fly away. But it keeps trying to go up, and it was doing it for so long. I was like, dude, I started filming it, and notice how it's shaking. It's all like jittery. Because it's been doing this for so long, it's like, it's stressed out to the max, you know? It's at its wits end, basically, you know, its nerves are like, can't take anymore. So what I did, I grabbed an 84 volt lithium blower, you know, like a leaf blower, and I guided it to freedom. It was kind of hard because it kept being stubborn, and when I blew it 
in the direction it needed to go, it kept resisting and trying. It kept trying to go up into the mesh, but in the end, I managed, and the butterfly flew away down the street somewhere. Word has it, it was last spotted on the freeway, doing 45 miles an hour.